Well, good afternoon and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now, this is a job I haven't been looking forward to, but it needs doing. And this is the uh, repotting of my uh, cymbidiums. They haven't been done for quite some time now. Uh, and really, this isn't the right time to do them. But uh, they need doing because they're uh, getting a little bit too uh, big for the pots. I've got one big one that needs splitting really and uh, these really should be uh, let's say that they should be uh, repotted in the spring after flowering but seeing as these haven't flowered for oh, a couple of years now then uh, I think uh, a repotting now will get them ready to uh, start growing well towards the flowering season and uh, and hopefully they'll produce more uh, spikes and uh, we can get some blooms off them. Well, as you already know, these, uh, these type of plants are native to the Far East. Places such as uh, the Himalayas, China, Australia, etc. And they are all accustomed to cool conditions. Uh, they can be a very successful indoor plant as well, but you must give them as much light as possible uh, and without exposing them to the sun, as, as much light as possible in the winter time. They do like to be placed outdoors from say uh, April through to September something like that May to October those types of types but if you do keep them outdoors make sure you put them in a shaded spot where they can get uh, filtered sunlight in the morning and no strong sunlight in the afternoon if you give them strong sunlight in the afternoon you'll finish up with all the leaves being uh, spotted and black and some can be sunburnt and don't look very nice. So uh, if you keep them sort of uh, well lit but without the sun you'll get these nice green leaves on them. Now in the warmer months, as I said between what May and October and May and September uh, they like the night temperatures to be around 13C, 14C, probably down to 12 or 11. But try to keep them well below 30 degrees centigrade. Otherwise the same thing will happen like I've just said. The leaves will become spotted and uh, they won't look very nice. Uh, also in winter... Uh, They'll stand temperatures down to about uh, 3 degrees centigrade. So they're not totally demanding plants as long as you abide by one or two things. Anyhow, that's about all I'm going to tell you about these. That's about all I can remember. And I'm going to take this one out of its pot now, see if there's any of the black ball tree need removing. And then we'll get it potted up in coconut husk. spider mite on it, that's another bad one where you get all these uh, spotted leaves at the back and we've got little spiders web all over the place. Anyhow, a lot of these back balls are now soft, ready for going, so we'll take this out of its pot. They were watered yesterday because they like to be kept uh, damp. If we can get this one out, as you can see it's starting to spike here, but right up against the rim, so it needs moving over to the middle. Anyhow, we'll get this out first before we do anything else. That's if we can get it out. Get 
such good roots on these that if you leave them in your pot too long then you'll have to cut the pot to get them out. Not this is a big struggle. But if I have to cut the pot, I have to cut the pot because I've got plenty of these. Ah, here it comes. There you are. And just look at that root system. Well, that root system is about normal to me for, hello, we've got a slug. There it is. Let's get it before it gets me. I've missed it. I'll just get it. I'll put the camera down while I get it. There's the slug I've just found. Horrible little things, aren't they? It's on the move again. But I won't kill it. I'll put it on this stick and, uh, and throw it into the woods. Right, I've got rid of, uh, of that slug. I don't know whether I'll come across any more. It won't surprise me if I did. But there's the new root growth, new root growth, the new plant growth there. But I've got to get all these, uh, this old bark out of there. So uh, we'll carry on with that. And uh, oh, excuse my voice, will you? I mean, I've had, just had some good news a couple of days ago. <laughs> I think uh, we're getting closer to have it done because I've got to go this uh, this Friday at 2 p.m for a pre uh, a pre-med you know which they do before you you get the operation so hopefully I can get this done before too long anyhow I'll put the camera back on the tripod and uh, see if we can get rid of uh, all this old bark well here we go start at the bottom and work my way up I think Very, very small this bark here and rotten. You can see it's, uh, it's a good job I watered it yesterday or else I don't think I'd have been able to uh, remove it from the pot or get rid of all this old potting media. I mean it's, uh, it's coming away very, very nicely this. I think I've got four or five of these to do, but uh, I'm not going to plant them all in coconut husk. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, switch off while I continue to uh, clean this. And I've got uh, some uh, old back bulbs to remove there. So I'll be back to you in a bit. Well, it's been a long job to uh, clean this up as uh, much as I would like to and uh, I must say myself that uh, it's looking quite nice this plant there's the new growth it's all cleaned up all the dead tissue taken off and uh, and we've also removed the uh, back bulbs which were attached here I'll show you those yeah these are the three we've uh, we just cut off, didn't take much cutting off, they're quite easy, but uh, I'm glad I've got rid of those anyhow. Well the only thing we've got to do now is pop this one up again. And uh, we've got a new pot here for it. Well, it's not new but it's been uh, thoroughly cleaned and washed. And we've got some coconut husk all this is the coconut husk whereas if you soak it in uh, RO water it will show a nil TDS so that's all been thoroughly cleaned now the thing to do with this I would say is uh, should I trim the roots? no 
what I'll do, I'll put little pieces of uh, coconut husk into as many places in the roots that I can find. And this is another long, long job. So, uh, you know, if I wanted to make sort of a, an hour long video, I could keep the camera still running while I'm doing this, but it would only get boring, wouldn't it? So, uh, I'll switch off now and I'll put as much coconut husk in here as I can and uh, we'll have a look at it when I've got it. I think I've uh, got as much actually in the plant that I can. We'll just put a little bit of this smaller stuff down at the bottom. And then we'll lift this up. Hopefully, drop it in there. Yep, there it goes. In you go. That's right. Now we want, as I said before, we want that one to be over here to allow the new growth to be also. Uh, quite near the centre. So we'll uh, do what we can with that. Always being careful not to uh, to break the new growth. I've been waiting so long for it to come. There's nothing more frustrating is there? And when you see a nice spike coming on the plant, and what you do, you knock the spike off. And it's happened to us all. Keep putting as much of this in as I can. Well, there we are, and I think that looks much neater than it did before. Looks nice and clean. And we've got the uh, the new growth virtually in the centre of the pot there. And all in coconut husk. So we'll just put that one on side and uh, have a look at the others. But I don't think on this video. So the only thing I can say to you is uh, thanks for watching and until next time I'll see you later. Bye.